Hello everyone. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. So right now I figured I haven't live streamed in like two weeks, I think it is. It's probably been two weeks. I think it's been two weeks. Sorry, my computer's over here. The live stream camera's here. So I'm just kind of trying to make sure that I'm in frame and everything like that. Oh, gotta get my mask. So, hopefully you guys can hear me. I've got some music going on in the background because it just is too quiet in here if I don't have any music on. Uh, maybe I'll turn my music up. I think it's a bit too low. Let us see for a second. There we go. It's too loud. Let me know when I'll turn it down or turn it off. But, right now I'm going to just do a live stream of me doing a face mask because I haven't done a live stream in a little bit. My last live stream was me doing my nails. So I figured I'd hop on here and do a quick face mask because I've been feeling like doing a face mask. My face has felt like complete dog shit lately. So yeah, I am going to do that. But right now I'm just going on my phone quickly just to see how the stream health is not sure quite yet might have to restart it sorry okay we got my stream health going we are good we are a-okay alrighty so I'm just gonna keep that there so I can watch to make sure that my stream is looking healthy and good and I can answer your comments as they come but yes, tonight I am going to be reviewing the Supreme Gold. Is my face even in frame? Okay, my face is in frame. So yes, tonight I'm going to be reviewing the Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask from Sue. I'll show you guys what the mask looks like right here. Hang on a second, I gotta reset my phone up right there. Yeah, right there. Come on. Come on. Thank you. All right. So this is the Sue Supreme Gold Face Mask. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put it on my face first and then talk to you and explain all this stuff back here because it's got to sit on my face for 15 to 20 minutes. So I might as well read about it and talk about it while it is sitting on my face for 15, 20 minutes instead of just sitting here in complete silence and twiddling my thumbs. So let's get into this. So like I said, this is the Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask. My face has been cleaned. Well, not really cleaned or anything. I prefer to wash my face after I do face masks. I don't know. It just, I feel better when my face is washed afterwards. I feel like I get all of, I know you're supposed to like leave the gunk from a face mask on your skin and then moisturize and everything, but I don't know. There's something about leaving the filmy gooiness that just bugs me. So I always wash my face after a face mask. I just have to. But before I do face mask, I just wipe my face with hot water. It just feels better just to like get any oil or dirt from the day off. So yes, I'm going to get into this probably gonna be messy and gunky but we shall see hopefully I'm talking loud enough I've got a new microphone so I'm not sure if I'm too loud if I'm not loud enough let me know in the comments down below like in the live chat if I'm loud enough or not okay well hello there how are you on this fine evening alrighty so let's get into this supreme gold face mask I really hope it's gold that'd be amazing it looks just yellow. I was really hoping it would be like a crazy vibrant gold color, but it, it's literally just yellow. Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> I have music going in the background. I'm not sure if I should turn that up or leave it low. Like if you just want to hear me talking or if you want to hear music in the background. I'm not sure. Should I, should I turn my music up? Let's 
so gunky. There's so much slime in the bottom of this, it's disgusting. I've never been one for sheet masks because they're just so gunky and gross, but I've got a whole whack of them, so might as well just start using them. Oh, my dear God. Okay. Okay, hopefully this goes well. So here it is out of the container. It's like crazy slimy. Yuck. Looks like it's two pieces. Okay. Oh my god, my hands are gonna be disgusting after this. Okay, so this is the bottom half. I'm just gonna, yeah! God damn it. Oh, gross, it's on the floor. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. Oh, it's got dog hair on it. Ugh. So it is sleep, super slimy, sl super slimy. I can't even talk right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and, trying to separate this, cause it is, it is stuck together in crazy sliminess. Oh my gosh, this is, okay, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so slimy. Alright, alright. Okay, I got it separated. There we go. Oh, it's got like a few little gold flecks in it. I can see it through the through the mask. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take off I'm guessing you take off the thinner side and that side goes onto your face and then you peel off the thick stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to peel off the thin layer right now. Okie dokie. Uh, it's uh, NCS copyright free music, so I should be fine, but you never know, right? Okay, let's get this bad boy on my face oh it's so gross so slimy Ugh. I think okay alrighty so Compared to the cover, the cover made this mask look way more gold than it is. So that's a little... <laughs> okay, so that's... I got, like, these crazy flaps going on with my nose right now. Like, it is not good looking. Okay. You can find this mask at Walmart and stuff. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I'm trying to trying to check out your chats well my hands are full of gunk okay so I think I got it too far down on my face but I can't move it up anymore so it's just gonna have to stay there it feels really smooth like super slimy the smell isn't too strong it's not terrible which is nice because sometimes with things that have too much of a strong smell it's too florally or whatever my face ends up reacting. Okay, these flaps are bugging my nostrils. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to fold that up because it's just too much. Okay. Push that up a little bit. Okay, push that up too much. Okay, so I got the top part on. Now I'm gonna put the bottom mouth area piece. Can you guys even hear the music? If not, that's totally fine. I just didn't know if you guys wanted to 
have some music in the video or not. So once again, I'm just going to peel off the thin film. There we go. And go ahead and uh, apply that around my gorgeous mouth. And get it all stuck on there pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a sexy look right there. Try to peel this off without it folding over on me like it just did. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that it's all on there nice and good. Get a little massage. Put a little extra on my nose. Okay, now that my hands are super crisp and gunky, I'm just gonna wipe them off of my boobs. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the rest of this back inside the mask. Like the mask container, just so it's not sitting all over and getting gunk everywhere like it currently is. Okay, I'm just going to pop this grossness back inside. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about something here is like bugging me. Every time I talked it was like pinching me right here. I don't know if like a piece of gold or whatever was poking me or maybe I'm having a side effect of the mask. So this is the, like I said earlier, the Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask from Sue. Oh my god, what is pinching me here? It's really bugging me. Stop! Okay. So on the front, this says it is lifting, firming, revitalizing. So gold revitalizing hydrogel mask. Gold is infused into a moisture locking hydrogel mask with a special blend of powerful, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure you guys aren't asking questions or anything. So it is infused, where was I? Oh, mask with a special blend of powerful plant extracts to make skin look firmer, smoother, with a bright, healthy glow. Now, What's in this is gold plant extracts, apply for 15 to 20 minutes, hydrogel mask, and from Sue. Now on the back of this, I keep getting like a weird pinching feeling throughout this mask, like as if like I'm getting a little like mosquito bite randomly, like now I'm getting it here. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so... Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask, Sue, New York. Like I said, you can purchase this. It's at Walmart, so it's a drugstore, cheap, nice brand. Anyone can afford it. Super awesome. So experience the ultimate mask indulgence with... Oh, I guess I better start a timer. I don't know. Okay, so 9.45. Put it on to about 9.40. So we will take it off at, let's say, 10. So experience the ultimate mask indulgence with gold and moisture boosting hydrogel technology. Gold helps to achieve a healthy, glowing, and youthful looking complexion while licorice root, green tea, uh, don't know how to pronounce that type of fruit, or that, and root extracts provide an extra boost of moisture to soothe dryness. So directions, cleanse skin thoroughly and apply toner or serum. 
Like I said, I like washing my face after I do a mask to get all that slimy disgustingness off. It's just my own personal preference. I'm washing off the disgustingness, but I guess it's benefits when it's supposed to stay on your skin. But I just give my face a wipe with a washcloth, pop on a mask, do my full face care routine afterwards. It just, I prefer that. Then number two, apply mask to the face, carefully aligning holes for eyes and a mouth. So smooth air pockets out with fingertips. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, then remove mask. Take remaining essence and pat into skin. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna wash my face after. When used in daytime, apply sun protection after use. Alrighty. So that is everything that was included on this page for the mask. So yeah now it is another 10 minutes of just hanging out and chatting so if you have any questions feel free to ask them now because i am here to answer them as long as you feel like asking them i got like a crazy pimple right in this crease of my nose coming out soon and oh my god, it hurts. So every time like I wiggle my nostrils, this whole area just like feels so thick and gross. Ugh, I don't like it. Alrighty. Looks like we have no one watching. That's awesome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Just kidding. Because apparently no one wants to watch anyways. But here I am just putting myself out there. Hopefully entertain some of you. But I guess apparently I'm not entertaining enough. So, yeah. I am just gonna sit here until someone wants to chat and ask me questions or talk or do anything because yeah, this is fan fucking tastic, isn't it? I wish there was a way to like send to my subscribers that like I'm live streaming right now because it sucks that only like no one or like one or maybe two pe people or subscribers can actually see my video. It'd be nicer if it would like send them a notification like if they're subscribed to my channel and they have the notifications on, it'd be nice that they get like a notification be like, hey, this person's on live stream, check them out right now. Or yeah, I feel like that'd be nice because here I am just sitting here twiddling my thumbs with a face mask on doing absolutely nothing because <sighs> yeah. I was gonna do like an actual pre-recorded video, just like film it with my good camera and then upload it later, but I thought maybe some people would wanna see this in live stream and be able to actually talk to me, but I guess not. I'll definitely be doing like live streams once a week just to get more connected with my community that I have on here and all you beautiful people. It's funny. I say all you beautiful people even though there's no one watching. Uh, I crack myself up. Hmm. I wonder what face mask I'm going to do next. I've got so many. I've got like Tatcha. I've got a bunch more Sue. I've got some Dermy E. 
I've got some... Frig, I've got so many. I just, like, bought and collected them because I thought eventually I would want to start wearing them, like, and using them. But they're, like, super weird. So. Hmm. Well, hello there. Welcome. I am just doing a little, well, I've already put on the mask. It's the Sue Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask. I've already put it on and it is sitting on my face right now. I've got another 10 minutes with it on, but I'm just sitting here talking, answering questions, if anyone has any, because it's got to sit on my face for a little bit, so I might as well just sit and chat with you. And just like that, they're gone. They pop in to say hi, or they just pop on and say nothing. This is the most annoying live stream ever. If you're watching this later on, I'm deeply sorry if any of this offends you that I'm just so upset at the fact that people are just not being able to see my live stream. But this is how I feel. So I am just going to talk and tell you how I feel about this because, yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, it's times like these that I wonder why the fuck I should ever do live streams. If no one's going to watch them, no one's going to see them, no one's going to be notified of them. Why the hell would I would I do a live stream and waste my time for 40 minutes just sitting in front of a camera when no one's going to see it? No one is able to tune in. I'm just a little beauty nobody, so... Funny how I'm counting down the minutes till I'm done wearing this face mask just so I can be done the live stream and go wash up and go to bed because this is just pathetic. I thought like uploading every single day the past like week would be good. Like my workout videos, the other regular videos, I thought it would be bring more traffic to my channel and people would be more engaged, more happy that I'm uploading more, but apparently it doesn't even matter what I do. Like, every video I upload is getting less and less views, so I give up. I'm just going to do what I want upload what I want. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm, I'm tired of feeling all bummed out because no one's checking or no one's watching or no one's getting notified. It just makes me feel like crap. Makes me wonder why I'm doing this. I wanted to share all this awesomeness with you guys, like the reviews and the makeup and lately it just feels pointless. Yeah. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below, but in all honesty, I just... I thought this would be fun, like actually engaging with someone in real time, them doing a review or a makeup video or something, but apparently it doesn't matter. Apparently it's not fun. So. Oh well. Wow, normally when I do my nail videos, there's at least like three or four people, but absolutely no one is watching right now. A few people tuned in at the very beginning for like six minutes, and then they left. So. 
Yep, this is my life. God, I hate you too. Like, if I have the subscribers, why the hell are they not being like, notified that I'm live streaming or if they've got the notifications on why can't they be told hey this person's live streaming you know yeah. sorry that this uh, little review is gonna bum you out or something but I'm just super fucking annoyed right now yep Hmm, why is my live stream not working over there? It says that it's not working. It's not on, but on my phone it's working. Why is it, it like on my computer it says an error occurred, please try again later but the stream health seems fine. I don't know what's going on. Oh well. Well, welcome. I had a little bit of a ranting bitch fest like for the past 20 minutes because no one has tuned in. No one has been notified or anything of my live stream. So I've just been super annoyed, but yeah. I am just doing the Sue Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask. This bad boy right here. It's got like a few flecks of gold in it, nothing too crazy, but it's a drugstore face mask. You can find it at like Walmart or pretty much all I know is Walmart. Here in Canada at least. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere in the States, but all I know is that it's in Walmart here in Canada. Uh, a few more minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off. So if you have any questions or you wanna ask me anything, go ahead and ask. I am here to talk and chill and hang out and bitch and rant and moan. So have at her. got a kind of like cooling feeling on right now it doesn't feel slimy or gross now it's kind of like drying on my skin it's like maybe my skin's absorbing all the gooiness but it doesn't feel as gross as it did when I applied it I always thought about like maybe I should do like a special effects live stream or just a makeup live stream play with makeup and record play with makeup and live stream it so you guys can see how I do my makeup and maybe just mess around with different colors or create stuff I don't know thought maybe a makeup live stream would be fun as well besides like a face mask one I'm not sure if that's something anyone would be interested in, but if it is, let me know in the comments, so. Because when this video, well, when this live stream's done, it's going to be uploaded to my channel, and then I can check out the comments if you leave any about 
reviews or a live stream makeup tutorial, live stream special effects look that you want to see. So I would love to hear if that's something you'd be interested in or not. So gooey. See, there's like a little fleck of gold right here on the nose piece. Let me flap this down. Thank you, I'm glad you like them. These little flaps are kind of annoying me. I'm bugging my nostrils. So I'm just gonna flip it up like that so it doesn't bug me as much. Yeah, for the past like week and a half, I've been trying to upload every single day. So like a workout video, a review, or a makeup look. And I actually have a makeup tutorial coming out on Friday. And it's like a more special effects makeup look. So if you want to check that out on Friday, that'd be super awesome. Because I'm giving you a little quick chit chat that I'm going to be uploading that. I haven't uploaded really like a makeup video in a bit. I think the last like real makeup video was my Bratz doll. Was it my Bratz doll? I think that was like the last makeup video I uploaded. Well, this is like on par with the Bratz doll. It's got like face paint and fake eyelashes and everything. So that's something to tune in on Friday for. It's super awesome. I'm actually like really proud of it and how it turned out. It's an inspired look. It's uh, not something I created myself. It's a person on Instagram did it and I saw it. So I screenshotted it in order to like recreate it myself. And on Friday, I'm gonna like tag that person. I'm gonna make sure that that person is the original artist first before I credit them. But I've seen like a couple different people do the same thing. So I'm not really sure who to credit, so we shall see on Friday, but right now, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Every day I've been uploading a video, workout video, review video, makeup video, just to get into the like YouTube algorithm to get like noticed or promoted more because like my subscribers have been asking for more videos and they want to see more and interact with me more. So I thought, why not upload every single day and see if it does anything different. But according to views, it doesn't really do anything different. Like every video I've uploaded gets less and less views. So maybe I'm just not that interesting and what I'm doing is not that great, but I'm having fun uploading it and posting them. So really that's all that matters. But it just sucks that like my subscribers aren't being notified about the videos so they can see what I'm creating. But yeah, that is what happening, what is happening. And it has been 20 minutes that I've worn this face mask. So I'm going to take it off and see how my face feels from it so slimy and gross Whoa. look at that it's so weird okay gonna get this top one off Blech. oh it feels so gross so it's got like a little bit of a warming feeling on my face right now my face doesn't feel gooey it's like my skin absorbed everything. It feels crazy smooth. Wow. Yeah, my face feels like super smooth. Like it's soaked up every little bit of the, the oils and the serums that were in this mask. Right now I'm just like massaging all of it into my skin 
before I wash it off so that everything is in here and my skin is benefiting from every little bit. Because I don't like leaving it on my face. It makes me feel weird that like there's just some gunk sitting there. So yeah, that is the little review of the Sue face mask. Yeah, turned out pretty okay. My face isn't burning. I don't feel like there's much of an allergic reaction. My cheeks are always red, so take that into account. It's not just this face mask, but yeah. That is the little review of this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and end this live stream now and wash my face and then go to bed. So I really hope you enjoyed tuning into this live stream. Those of you that did tune into this live stream. Um, yeah, uh, sorry. You find regular use of face mask really helps your skin feel smooth. Um, I don't do a lot of face masks. I usually do them just once a week because I do have sensitive cheeks and they tend to be kind of annoyed with face masks. So when I do use them, my face does feel super like baby smooth and super nice and supple. So I do enjoy them, but yeah, just my skin prefers them once a week. But yeah, that is it. Like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel to watch more of moi and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads, any live streams, anything like that. Make sure you have the bell icon clicked and the subscribe button clicked so you can watch future videos with moi. If you guys have a particular live stream that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below, like a special effects look or a makeup look or just sitting here talking to you. Let me know in the comments down below and I shall do that. But right now I'm going to wash my face because it is 10, 10 p.m. here where I live. So I'm going to sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this and until next time, stay beautiful, okay? Bye. <sighs> Goodbye, Rye Stream.